You know what, we have to address the elephant in the room and no one wants to touch this topic because it creates massive division and massive controversy, but let's touch religion. I've seen two types of investigators, that that take a very scientific approach and the others that take a very religious approach. When you investigate from a religious background, you have a very, very fine filter. Every ghost you see, you're gonna think is a demon. Right? Now I have to ask a few questions. We can fight about it, I don't care. Put it in the comments. But how many of you investigators that are religious, how often do you go to church? And for you people that claim to be demonologists, how often do you go to mass? And really, how did you become a demonologist? Did you read an A through Z book of demons? Is that what got your certificate to be a demonologist? Honestly, to tell you the truth, if we're going to take this research seriously, we have to get rid of this whole religious spectrum. You cannot bring that filter into this field of research and expect us to be taken seriously. This isn't a Hollywood movie where we're going to exercise someone in a building as they're levitating. This is paranormal research. We're trying to connect another realm of existence, another plane of existence. We're not here exercising. Here he comes right now with the chair. These dogs have. <coughs> Poor Bella, she's also. <coughs> I can't believe he was just sitting there. It's 10 40 at night. No. Oh. Alright, give me the flashlight. And then grab the game cam. You ready? Let's go, people. Let's do this. Correction, yes, asshole. Sir? I said, yes, sir, and then I was like, wait, correction, yes, asshole. Yes, yes, <laughs> asshole, thank you. You call me by my real name. Uh, where are we going, sir? Which way? Uh, this way. Okay. Julie? Are we going in to help you set up? Or? Yes. Okay. You have a walkie-talkie on you, Julie? No, I... Don't you kind of need a walkie-talkie? To ask questions? She's trying to leave me stranded. You good? Yeah, I almost tripped. So this house is not coming out. Here we go. Here we go. I'm back. Ooh, the energy's changed. Still there? Uh, I want to face one of the basketball goals. We're setting up right now, folks. Give me a minute. Would you like to hold the phone yep, real quick? I can, I can do that. It's attached. Let's stay, stay close. Here we go. 
so you guys let me Objects that we got earlier tonight. There's one that is facing this way already recording. There's the camera that's facing this way already recording that area. On top of the cameras, I have what's called a dead light, which is the world's greatest infrared light. Won't use any other. Put the ball back, please. Put it back on the line. Right here at the cross, where the cross line comes in. Right in the middle, please. Thank you. And we are already having problems with this camera. It's not recording. Hard error, son of a Triscuit. All right, let's get this little, get this show on the road. So, for safety's sake, I'm gonna leave the flashlight on, which I cannot see. But we're gonna put the flashlight right here, kind of, kind of towards me, so that I can see what's going on. Who has the radio? I don't have one on me. Really, I'm gonna be in here this entire time without a radio. I'll get on TikTok. Give me the... <sighs> yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, grab a radio out of the dorm and meet us back in here. So, as you can see, other than this, it's pitch black in here. Flashlight, camera, camera behind me. Trigger object, shoes, because we got a response that had to do with shoes. And, of course, basketball. And we have also a game cam. Let me see it, the game cam. We're going to put this facing... That way. Motion activated game cam for pictures only. Let's get the SB11, shall we? Camera. So you guys can see me get set up. Somebody said Trump 2024. <clears throat> Solo SS method, brand new location, never been investigated. With questions via the walkie talkie. Where's my blindfold? Where's my blindfold? Am I, si am I sitting on it? Yeah. Get up. Oh, never mind. Here it is. On my knee. Is Ron gonna come? Um, he's gonna stay yeah. with John and Jordan until they leave. Earphones are in. I'm not gonna turn the radio with SB11 on until Brandon gets back. So I know for a fact they have a radio. A walkie-talkie. Now I'm just going to sit here and let the building talk to me.
I'm about to be in here by myself. Check that. Huh? You didn't hear that noise? Yeah. This is my deja vu part that I've been talking about since this morning. That I've already done this in this building. And you and I have already communicated. Radio check, Dustin. Radio check. Radio check complete. Come on to the gym, Brandon. I'm on my way over from the dorms back to the big gym. Roger. I'm about to be in this gym by myself with whatever is in this gym. My friends are going to ask questions on this walkie talkie right here. I will not hear these questions, but you can use this radio device to respond. And when you respond, I will repeat what you hear. Where's the talking coming from? Okay, that's Brandon. <laughs> that you, Brandon? All right. Okay, I am plugged up to external power on the, on the cell phone right now so that I don't die. Um, come prepared for stuff that don't have electricity. There's no electricity, there's no water. The only electricity is to the scoreboards and maybe one or two overhead lights. That's about it. <clears throat> okay. Um, one of y'all want to prepare to put this on my head? Let me fix the radio. Turning the SB-11 on. Reverse 250. Turn it all the way up. Brandon will now put the head, put the pillowcase over my head and exit the room. If you can hear me, 15 minutes and time it. Go ahead. Get out. Fifteen minutes. There's a female trying to come through. It's 
What was that? I felt something right here in front of me. Whoa, my, wow, my, my senses are crazy. Here during the time of the fire that happened back in 1977. Body resting in the cemetery across the street. I need everyone's time. I'm doing the solo with How is it? Let's do it. A female. A previous female student, which building was her favorite to be in? I would. Oh, wow, I feel... Oh! About the sports team got a reaction. Which sports team were you on? Oh! Oh! I feel there's somebody right next to me. Hello. That was a female. Clear as day. Hello, how are you? I feel like I'm being watched. Turn it on. That was a male. What is, what is it that you want me to turn on? I couldn't understand him. Something came through a male. Another male coming through. How are the males taking over? What happened to the female we were talking to? Are they playing basketball? Oh! Oh! 
Something pulled the phone cord. Are you guys playing basketball? Did you trip over the phone cord? currently winning in basketball. Right. A male said right. He's in the middle. You missed, female. The female saying you missed, so you do not have a very good shot. I feel like I'm in the middle of a basketball game. Like for real. I'm still alive. Female said I'm still alive. What the fuck? In the way of your basketball game? Still alive. What is your name? Oh, I feel vibration on the floor. How old are you currently? Something is trying to come through. It sounds like a robot. I don't know. That was a male. Wow. Can the male stop talking so I can speak to the female? Someone's partner? coming. The male, someone's coming. His face is on the right. Female. So I can talk to the female. Thank you for coming back. Were you a cheerleader in the school? Laughing. Somebody is laughing. I heard laughing in the radio. about asking if she was a cheerleader. Think about girls versus boys going on right now. You're protected, male. Ever 
suspected from what? going on and or is it just for fun? Here it comes. You're gonna get it. It was a male, I couldn't understand him. What is this that we're going to get? Is this what is that? equipment and it's not going to hurt you, it's helping us communicate with you. I want to turn my head to the left, but I'm, I'm uh, something's telling me not to. Turn our heads to your left. Asbestos. Asbestos down in the girl's locker room. Is that what you're trying to prevent us from turning our heads to it? Light a cigarette. Oh, so oh, female. I couldn't understand it. We can't light a cigarette. We are in a building. Young, are you smoking or are you a adult? Vibration. On my right. Why, why am I seeing, I, I mean, I can't see, but I'm seeing a white jersey, a white basketball jersey with the number three on it. A white basketball jersey with the number three, and the number three is the color red. Why are you wearing a white jersey? Does that mean you're at home? Oh, Charlie. Wait, is that you? Am I speaking to Charlie right now? What is your last name? A friend coming in the building.
I'm a disco. Hello. What's in front of me? I couldn't understand it. The female trying to come through, but I can't understand what you're saying. Bitch. Fifteen minutes up. And we finished our solo at the high school. We're wrapping up now. I mean, the big job. Oh. <laughs> Voice. Oh my god. Don't ever do that again. How do we get you? <laughs> Damn, I can't even pick that up. I'm shaking so bad. Turn it off. That's why I left it to you because I didn't know how to get his attention that we were getting his thumbs yeah. up. That's why I need Ron. Scared the fuck out of me. Okay. I don't know what you guys were asking. But I was holding the phone. Good God, I'm still shaking. I was holding the phone like this. I was asking all the questions. Something tugged. Like it was trying to take the phone out of my hand on the cord. Before that happened, again, I'm sitting flat-footed, okay? Yes. I could have swore to fuck to God. Something was right in front of me and did this. I felt it, okay? Not only did I feel it here in front of me, I felt it to the right of me several times. Okay, and then I was seeing, because I was nervous, not scared, mm -hmm. until now. I'm just still shaking from that fucking shit. Oh my God. Ah, to turn this way, even though I can't see or hear, I was nervous to turn this way because I felt that something was going to hurt me if I did, okay? Or was going to attempt to get my attention in more ways than one. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sitting here at this angle, okay, and I can see, you know how your eyes, your, you know how your eyes can image things in the dark when they're closed yes. and you can't see, yes. similar to what blind people can do. Yes. 
because they don't have sight, right? They can mm -hmm. only go by whatever their their red, the other sense, the their sense redness sense. whenever they, you see red in your eyes when they're closed, right? Mm -hmm. I was seeing images of a basketball game and then I was seeing a, an image, I'm not sure if it was black, white, Mexican boy in this general vicinity with a white jersey, a red number three on it, wanting to communicate. wanting to communicate don't know why that came to me um and then it went quiet silent this is why these types of sessions in my opinion are no more than 15 minutes because you're so lost and you're so engrossed into that session that when that shit happens she's like That's why I had her do it because I, I didn't know how to. I don't know how to. Because I'm sitting here talking and repeating and listening to this shit at heightened senses that I don't know how to react because I don't know if it's a living human. I don't know if it's a, something that could, could possibly or not possibly be in the building mm -hmm. that I'm doing this in. And you come up and even so much as I'm going to. Right. Okay, and 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 I'm I would never do that to you. How, how right? would you how um, do you break somebody off that? It's kind of hard. It is very hard to to do that to end the session because again we are lost in that zone. We are lost in time. We don't have we don't know. It felt like five minutes, mm -hmm. literally to me. Um, you kind of just kind of kick their chair a little bit and then just like maybe rub, you know, rub something and then pat them. That's basically the same thing. But you poked me. And I've been, I've been poked. I've been poked by <laughs> spirits before. And that fucking scared the shit out of me. Okay. Um, did anything that I was repeating pertain to your questions? Um, after you started to speak, I was relating questions to what you were talking about. So once you said, I envision a game, I said, who's winning? Um, is it the home team? And then I was asking if it was the visitors and you're saying that there's two boys and I'm like, Whoever the male voice is, go sit on the bench. I want to speak to the female. And then the female started talking again. Really? Really? Because that female was coming through so strong, but I couldn't understand and what she I was saying. She was a cheerleader. And that's when you get the laughter. And I'm like, what's so funny? It's funny you say the cheerleader because I was also envisioning someone in a dress walking across and their, their dress swaying um, like they were from a prom. Did they have proms in here? I believe so. This is where they were held, yes. To my knowledge, I'm not. I can't guarantee that. Right. But she was wearing some kind of sparkly dress. Yeah. Again, I couldn't see the skin tone, so I don't know if it was black, white, Mexican, whatever race it may have may been. Um, but I know it was a female. I know that she was wearing one of those long, flowy dresses that were sparkly, and she had on... That's my alarm going and she had on stopping. hills, like high heel dance dance shoes. And then um, he said, uh, "Light a cigarette," and I was like, "Why do you want to light a cigarette? We can't smoke in the building." And I was like, "Aren't you too young, uh, or are you an adult wanting a cigarette?" And then that's when the alarm went off, and I was like, "Okay, my team's gonna come in with me." Now that I'm calm, holy shit, don't try this at home if you are not experienced. It, um, it'll screw with your mind on a big level. I'm not shaking anymore. Jesus Christ. Talking? Dog bark. Dog bark. And my battery's already dead on my walkie. John, you got a copy?
John, you got a copy? I could get that thing off my head fast enough. <laughs> I couldn't get that thing out of my head fast enough. John, do you have a copy? Anyone from John John's team have a copy? All right, so let's leave uh, the chair where it's at. Let's leave, put all the stuff in here, put the cam, put the, put the antenna down and put all the stuff in the, And it in took the, so long to put that on because I wasn't sure if you wanted it tied as a flying foot or put it Oh, that, it was perfect. It was, it was a perfect, um, uh, yeah, I could, I could not really see in front of me, mm -hmm. right? But with a little bit of what you left right. for me, I could see just barely a little bit of the flashlight, just barely a little bit, but I really couldn't see shit. I, I couldn't see nothing at all. Um, so now I'm going to attempt the same in the high school and see what we get up there. Um, but I'm going to wait a few more minutes and we're going to take a trek and a journey back to the room and go get my other partner, Ron. Um, because John and Jordan, I just saw somebody walking over there. Yes. Yes. And that probably caught it. <sighs> it's the first time anybody's ever fucking scared me like that. Thirty-eight percent. Excuse me. Let me get my spare battery. Boy. Always have batteries. Y'all need this. There's stuff in there. Well, the camera's dead. No, I got this one charging. No, put everything back in there because I'm going to take everything. <laughs> Don't want this? No. Okay. okay. I'm going to It's hot. Yeah, I got some of that. Some of that. Now this doesn't want to work. <coughs> I'll use a smaller one. This will work for... Where's my smaller one? Over there. Yeah, that's fine. Do what you're going to do. Everything's fucking up. Guess it's gonna be held hand, handheld. Where's that? This you the want camera. This? Unplug it. Unplug it. Unplug here, it. Here, un here, here. Okay. Well, gadget. Radio. <laughs> you got a radio? I do. All right. You watching the live? I'm gonna plug it in and watch it. Okay. Yep.
Let's go have some fun, yes. shall we? You got your radio, Ron? Turn that bitch on. You got that big flashlight still? Yes. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Let's do this again. There's already a chair up there for me, so. And what room am I going in? So the one beside the arrow. Hey, I found the ladder to the roof. Did you find a swimming pool that was on the roof? If you stuck around this long, I appreciate it. We're just doing some work for you folks. Turn that flashlight on. Here we go. All right, hit me some light. Somebody called it. Dumbass. Still jumpy from that first session. Where's my chair? Bring it down further. I get sick when I come in here. Stomach problem. Yeah, that's that room we just did that session in. That's Hands on the wall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we stirred, we kind of stirred up a shit. Breathing, catching my breath. Flashlight. Walkie talkie. Hold this run so I can get set up. It's a little bit colder in here. Yeah, it, it got colder since we came out of here. All right, so for safety purposes in the school, we're on the second floor, as you guys saw. And because of the distance, okay, the distance is what's gonna get me. Just in case something does actually take place, I need somebody up here within five seconds of me having an issue. That's why the gentleman behind me and this far enough back there to where he will not bother me unless I have an issue. Brandon and Ron are gonna be outside asking the questions again on the walkie talkie. The energy I feel is coming from that direction, right in front of us. Uh, that's, where we, that's where we were before we left. So you guys warmed it up for me. Awesome. I just heard a freaking... That was me, buddy. You sure? Because it was right back that way. And <laughs> yeah, there's a room on the left mm -hmm. up there, and we were in there, and it had like a long... Dresser that goes on the, it's kind of low to the, oh, I think it was the uh, superintendent's office or something. Flip the camera towards myself. Here we go again. On the road again. So the, this one's going to stay here and then. No, I have one that's going to stay. Yeah, that one that I gave you is going to stay here. Radio check it real fast. Radio check. Okay. Let's. 
put the camera same length, about that tall. Just pull it all the way down. That was me. There's one more, third one. Make sure it's all the way down. It's gonna be charged just enough to catch this session. Split them open, that was me. Oh. We're setting the camera up. That's why it's crooked. Come on, work with me, motherfucker, not against me. It's on the level. There's gravel up here for some reason. All right. So that we got everything on camera, light. Path light. Bring this back one out some more, son of a bitch. Come on, work with me. Fucking hell, spread them, spread them out pretty good. That works. All right, I'm covering the camera like a dumbass. That's good. Here we go. Camera, deadlight, flashlight facing me for everything to see, and the SB11. And I think, in all reality, that we need to use the FLIR on this session. So I want to set the FLIR up as well and record it. Don't touch the screen, you'll pop it. Set this clear up real quick. I am at 63% on the clear, which is just an iPad. Alright. Set the sensitivity. I set it to camera. I haven't used this fucking thing here forever. And the clicking that you're gonna hear is the flare. You go know, dead something. No, it's not gonna fucking let me video. How do you video with this, Ron? Do you remember? I don't. <laughs> I know, I don't play with those. Let's try this. Camera, camera. Come on. No. Son of a bitch. Home. Footsteps. More footsteps. Yeah, there's something going on behind me too, over here. I mean, it has to have video because it would have, it would have just. We were using the video image and video.
nodes, maybe? We got it fixed there, TikTok. Match sound, three, two, one. All right, set this up, lean it up somewhere on the ground where it's not gonna fall over or crack the iPad. Mm -hmm. Facing down that way or behind me, it doesn't matter, I don't care. And I'm hearing movement up ahead of this too. Um, Ma'am, nurse, or is that you? Did I hear your 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 uh, high heels clipping on the floor? I know I heard you. Why does it look like a person right here, just right there? Yeah, yeah it's a dark spot. You clearly see it. <laughs> Barely touch me when you come to pull me out, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't do it to get or I'm gonna knock the fuck out of you. And this time I'm only going to use one channel to keep the noise down. The excess noise. Which the channel I'm using is only going to be going through my headset. Okay, so it's just over my head. Just a second. Hold on. Let me get situated. Turn this camera around. Turning this on. Here we go. Walkie talkie is on the floor. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes, Ron. I can't hear you. Go ahead.
The blindfold came undone. Something's trying to come through, but I don't know. You wanted to see me? Oh, something's trying to come through, but I don't know. It's breaking the white noise. I have a vision of an older gentleman in a dark, either a dark blue or a black suit. I don't feel like it's going to hurt me, 
I just, I can see him just chilling. He's curious. Watching. Kind of reminds me of, uh, what's that principal's name on Back to the Future? He's got bald, he's bald right here with a little bit of hair. That's what he looks like. That's who he reminds me of. Something is trying to break through on the white noise and I, I can't understand it. Oh, there it goes again. Okay, this time come back very, very faint, but I heard it and I understood you. Okay, now now I'm getting the vision of a of a not really a fat lady, but a, a, a semi kind of like a, a she's a little chunky, and she wears a dress that goes to her knees, with like a like a two piece dress, like it, it goes to her knees, and then a blouse and an over jacket. <laughs> The blouse is white and she has blonde hair and she's a little chunky. Nothing is coming through on the radio. These are just the visions that I'm getting. Now I'm getting a vision of a man, an older middle-aged man sitting on the steps Sitting on the steps with his with his hands in his face, wearing glasses. He's wearing glasses like like he gave up. Just had a rough day.
Okay, now there's running. I vision running. Adults running. There's a lot of people running. No. For the fire. Wow, am I really seeing that? They're running to the fire for the for the gym. I'm not making this up. The fire, the fire truck didn't make it on time. They came about 10 minutes or so after the fire started, which is why they could not save the building. I see the adult teachers running from this building towards where the gym was. Oh, oh, motherfucker. It's us. We're, we're done. 15 minutes is up. Okay. I'm seeing visions of, of people, adults running towards this area where the fire was. Mm -hmm. They they couldn't. I want you to look that up. How long did it take for the fire truck to get here? See if you can find that answer. Because it's like that when I saw the vision of the of the gentleman um, sitting on the steps, like he was defeated or had a rough day. Nothing much really came through up here. It was just all visions. Um, I started with the gentleman that looked like the principal from the Back to the Future movies. Yeah, Mr. Strickland. Thank you, um, but taller, okay? He was just leaning up against one of those doors back there, just chilling, really not giving a shit what we're doing, but was curious nonetheless, okay? And then I started envisioning the chunky female lady that was wearing the three-piece woman's business suit, okay? She was just walking around doing her thing. And then right at the moment when I started visioning the gentleman in a tan suit with glasses, dark glasses, with dark hair, with his hands in his face, like immediately after that, I started seeing what I thought was like flames, okay? Um, and then everybody running. Everybody was running as quickly as they could to the flames. And so I'm putting two and two together and now it's for the gym. Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I right? I don't know. Okay, this